All right, dudes, welcome back. Back to another episode of Bike Talk. This is episode four. Basically, I just review or roast your bike. All right, first up is Joa. This is Bike. We'll just see what he has to say. He said, Hi, Gary. First of all, thanks for your work. You truly inspired me to be doing more and more bikes each day. Here's the Instagram link to my GT Outpost in Emerald Green. Say what you want. Regards, Joa at Raska Bikes. And he said, Roast this bike. So, yeah, this is his bike. So, first of all, I'm going to say, Is this a Joa bike or is this a Billow bike? And then next up, we're going to roast him for this little cable hanger, this silver cable hanger, probably better in black, but then also it looks a little bit bent and it looks like he threaded in this bolt, cross threaded it, so it goes all the way straight, it's on the wrong angle, so yeah, probably try to fix that Joa, um, but yeah, all in all, not too much to roast here, you can see he's got uh, his seat a little too far back here, almost maxing out at the limit, and he's running one by seven, got some pedals, new pedals, and Still keeping the industrial Shimano Serra. This could probably last forever, I think. Overall, pretty cool bike build. Oh, here's something else he's got. I think this is flipped the wrong way. We can check the front to see how it is. Oh, he actually has two different ones. So, <laughs> gonna roast you for that. And then he's got these little bolts in here. These are probably overkill, also unnecessary. I do appreciate he did set up his brakes pretty nicely here with brake cable and cable end gonna roast him for a little kink here in this housing adapter and that's yeah that's all he sent but yeah overall looks pretty cool cool bike I like the color super cool color and I don't know if this is just the angle of the bike but you just you might want to check if your bars are bent maybe you've been uh, going too hard but yeah thanks Joe thanks for saying that in all right next one up we have we have one one says hello Gary I saw your post on YouTube this is my bike Cromoly Steel Schwinn Paramount 30 PDG that I bought two years ago. I only changed the tires and upgraded the pedals to Shimano PDEH500. I believe the group said it's original, like the wheels, Richie seat posts, and maybe the seat too. The owner changed cantilever for V brakes. Feel free to roast it and say what you like. I won't be offended. Cheers, one. Cosmic Wave on YouTube. All right, first of all, he's got some gross hair here. And then I can already see this brake cable is just way too long. Lever here is at the wrong angle. Close-up shot of the graphics. Pretty cool graphics there. Another close-up shot. Cassette. Cassette looks pretty new, which is cool. More close-up shots. <laughs> so check this out. He basically sent all close-up shots so far. And half of them, or more than half of them, are just about the graphics. Um, so I'm guessing one... You might be a, a graphic designer. <laughs> oh, another, another one about with the graphics. Just showing you the old logo and the typography there. Okay, here's a more pulled out shot. What's going on here, one, with this huge cable sticking out? Got to fix that up. And then, yeah, it looks pretty good. Cockpit looks pretty good. Shifters look pretty good. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't run SPDs, so I'm going to roast you for those. Uh, your cabling is a little dry here. And yeah, this cable's too long. I already said that. More close-up shots. A lot of close-up shots, actually. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a close-up shot of this pedal. <laughs> Come on, one. Yeah, after all that, and he, this is his final bike pick. All right, so yeah, I guess overall, pretty cool bike. Looks pretty fun. Uh, I like the paint on it. The squiggly paint was pretty cool. And yeah, thanks for saying it, Ian, one. Cheers. All right, next one is David. David said, review or roast. Hi, Gary, how are you? My name is David Thompson. And my at is at Brass Eye Bike Bits on Instagram. Please direct any public abuse to that account. So he's talking to you guys. If you got what guys want to roast him, go roast him on his account. I make and sell shiny bits for bikes, but also love fixing bikes for my friends. I love what you do as it's so relatable and your vibes are so chilled. Thanks. Here are a couple of terrible photos, but most of, of my most fun bike. What do you say? Review or roast? So we may as well just do a roast. Uh, first of all, he's got this really ugly bag on here with a really ugly patch. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like for some reason he, I'm not sure if this patch came with the bag, but he did, he actually made a conscious choice to sew this disgusting patch on here. Like if I think about what he's trying to do with this, if he's got zombies here, maybe he could be trying to have kind of like an apocalypse type build but then 
you wouldn't have zombies on your bike because that would just attract more zombies. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. And then it looks like he has, uh, yeah, his bars tilted all the way forward, which I don't know. I've never really tried that before. Seems maybe the angle might be a little bit weird or the handling might be weird, but it might work for him. Gonna roast him for the levers. These levers are on the wrong side and wrong angle. Pedal at the wrong angle, crank up at the wrong angle. It's got two different wheels, so he's got a mullet set up happening. I'm guessing 26 by 29 right here. We're running rigid with the little dirt fender. But yeah, I'd be I'd be actually interested to know how much toe overlap he gets with this huge 29 inch wheel and this fork because yeah, it seems like it's going to be pretty close. So I just watch your toes. And then yeah, more picks. Got a little little plate dish here for the bell. <laughs> Gotta fix up this pot plant. Can't just keep that hanging out. It's like trash. But a little bit more specs here. So orange P7 steel. Wheels black and round. They look pretty round. Um, single speed, 32 by 20. Definitely roasting you for your ratio. This is kind of like a kid's ratio. Shimano probably breaks fork. On one steel rigid thing. Camel chops, pink zombie. Custom brass bits. Um, so he probably makes these brass bits. The end cap, headset spacers, bar end, valve caps, cassette spacers, dropout washers. Okay, cool. Style advice, I wanted to repaint the fork as the paint has gone quite tidy. What color? Keep it white or for it to go black or maybe fluoro pink. Okay, thanks for looking at my bike. I love it, but also love that other people hate it so you can review or roast or whatever. Thanks and also thanks at Brass Eye Bikes Bits. Um, so I definitely, I think this bike is ugly enough so I wouldn't make this, uh, I wouldn't make this fluoro pink. What I do is it was up to me I would probably just strip this so it's silver. So you go raw with it and then it would match your pedals and your seat posts and match your brass bits as well. I think that would look pretty cool. But yeah, overall it looks like a fun bike. And yeah, thanks for sending in. Thanks, David. Next one is Perry. And he said review in his subject, but um, he said, here's my bike for roasting. So maybe we'll give it a roast. Grips looks like, um, you know those vegetable, cleave vegetable bags that you get from the grocery store? It looks like he just got a bunch of those and wrapped it around and used them for grips. And then it looks like he took a lawn chair here and put it on as a front rack. Gonna roast him for too much, having too much dirt here. Bike is pretty cool, pretty cool colors. Kind of this retro. It actually got the bag to match the frame, which I think is pretty hard because it's got a Gatane, Gatan bag. Um, but it looks like a different frame. So yeah, definitely props for matching that up. And then uh, <laughs> it's got some really, uh, really disgusting gum wars here. So maybe you should just uh, give those a clean. But yeah, overall, looks like a solid bike. Looks like it get you around. So yeah, thanks for saying that, Perry. Next one is Vitus. He asked for a review. I hereby agreed to get roasted by the one only Gary Oda. Enjoy this Trek 950. 150 pound, uh, wait, 150 euro total cost, 50 euro bike, if that's of interest. So I'm just going to double it for Australian dollars. So 100, 100, 100 bucks of this bike, I think it's pretty good. And then you spend 300 bucks fixing it up. So let's, let's see what he spent money, what he spent his money on. So he spent, uh, tires, tires, I'd say a hundred and then Pedals, chain, um, grips, maybe, bell, and the bag. So yeah, I'll add it up, see if that adds up to 300. No way that's got to add 300, I don't think. So I don't know. I don't know where you spent your money, but yeah, let us know. I'm gonna roast him for putting his bike up against these rocks. Definitely, there's no way you can do this without scratching your frame. And then he also put it up on this little rock, trying to be uh, a little bit more extra rugged but you see how it's not even that far from the ground so you may as well you may as well just put it on the ground and save some hassle and i'm going to roast him for this little shoulder pad he probably used the shoulder pad to kind of lift his bike up here <laughs> on this little rock um, but yeah overall it looks like a pretty cool bike i like the i like the tan wars even though it's a bit dirty i like the tan wars uh and all a bit dark i like the tan wars with the, the black all right thanks for sending that in nice one bitters all right, next one's Matthias. 
and he said a review. So yeah, overall pretty cool bike. I like the colors. I like um, these tires with the light tan walls. Looks pretty cool with the, with the purple. And yeah, it looks like a pretty fun ride. He matched pedals running two by seven here. Friction shifters up the top. Dior XT brake levers to avid brakes. I'm not sure what these avid brakes are, but uh, they should go all right. And yeah, that's over it. I like the riser bar. Probably a little bit more comfortable as well. Looks like he also has a bit of dirt here. Looks like he uses it. And he's got the shocks up front. Take a little edge off. But yeah, it looks like a fun bike. Cheers, Matthias. All right, next up, he's got uh, Nikita. Says, here's how I got the bike and how it is now. Being done on a budget since I don't have regular income. First mod was the tires. Went for 2.2 cross kings. Then I managed to save up for generic stem, handlebars, grips, brake levers, V-brakes, seven shifter and cables. I think you did pretty good saving up for all that stuff. Haven't done much as it was my first ever bike built by me. I enjoy getting parts and making it work. If I had greater income, I do things differently. Uh, I had original LX cranks, but the non-drive side was a different link, so they changed it for the sil silvery thing. 165 length, which I like, which I hate. <laughs> so it looks like he hates the cranks, but he likes the length of the cranks, but it gets it done. Um, it's been used as my daily and doesn't have many problems and are easy enough to fix. I love very much knowing these bikes because of their simplicity. More pictures, feel free to look up on Instagram. Hopefully I can get roasted or get some advice on it. Gonna give you some uh, advice and I know English is probably not your first language but advice is spelled A-D-V-I-C-E and yeah, that's a roast. But yeah, I hate it when people correct spelling. It's just like so petty. But anyway, gotta learn somehow. All right, next, this is, his, uh, this is, looks like the bike before and after. So yeah, it looks like he kept most of the same stuff. Most of the same stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks like you freshen it up a bit. I can see what he's saying about the crank set. Sometimes you just got to work with what you got. And if it's working, then yeah, it's good for you. Nice upgrade on the tires. I think will make the ride pretty plush. Got some new handlebars. Going to roast you for the grips and the seat. Uh, looking pretty rough there. And going to roast you for these little toys that you have. Um, again, like you can just play with your toys at home. Unless, unless you're really into playing with toys outside, I guess you can play outside, ride somewhere and play with your toys. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty cool bike. Looks pretty fun. Thanks for seeing that, Nikita. All right, next up is Bryce. What's up, Bryce? He just asked for a normal review. Pretty sick, nice clean build. It's got a uh, Bridgestone MB2 running 2x7, it looks like. Uh, could be more because it's running, could be 2x9 actually. This is running these thumb shifters or bar and shifters, sorry, at the back. And yeah, overall pretty cool. Running uh, slope style type tires. Got the slick in the back and the knobs up the front. It's pretty cool. And then these wheels looks like they've been built custom. Yeah, with custom spokes and Mavic Sops. Pretty, pretty nice wheels here. Should ride pretty well. And I, I like the matching skewers and also the cable ends all done, nice and neat. And then running, yeah, XT, Remac and Front Mac. And then I think this is a, a White Industries crank set. But yeah, overall it looks pretty cool. It looks like it has that old touring vibe, maybe like mid 80s gravel bikes. But yeah, it looks pretty fun. It looks like a fun bike, it has like a nice select Geo. Cool bike, thanks for sending Bryce, looking good. All right, next one is Jiho, he asked for a roast. And this is his bike. It's got a Cannondale M500 running 1x10 SRAM. It's got uh, a road crank here and a road stem here. And yeah, two picks, which are pretty much the same. It's at PK Johi on Instagram. So yeah, let's see what can roast. I'm going to roast. <laughs> I got to roast him for the raster seat post and the raster uh, Kuka crank. Like, we get it, you smoke weed, and then gonna roast him for the front quick release lever, not in the right position. Gonna roast him for this little cabling, trying it's starting to come out and it's not pushed in properly. Yeah, you can see here another better pick. Gonna roast him for this chain guard that's not on the actual chain itself. <laughs> this is this chain retention that should be going over this bit right here. But yeah, not sure what he's using it for. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. But yeah, overall pretty sick. Looks like a fast bike. Yeah, has some nice parts on it. Awesome. Cheers, Jiho. Thanks for saying that, Ian. All right, next one is Gabriel. 994 Trek 
950 cargo bike, another Trek 950, maybe from different year, and he said roast. So first of all, I'm going to roast this photo for being too big. Look, all this. Did he want me to review the sky or the bike? And he took this big photo, but then it's also out of focus. <laughs> all right, another big photo. Okay, this one's in focus. And then he's got one more. Let's take a look. All right, little pizza bike here. So I'm going to, I guess I'll look at this one because it's bigger. So roast his bike. So I'm going to roast him for sending a non-drive size shot, even though he did send one here. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's running uh, three by seven, it looks like, with some, some shifters on the top. Gonna roast him for these Slurpee cup holders. Slurpee is really bad for you, so I don't know why you're trying to promote that. And then it's got a little speaker here. No one wants to listen to your music either, so just wear headphones. And then this rim here, this rim looks absolutely haggard. So I just make sure to keep an eye on that. Just be careful of uh, how you're lining up your brake pads and the, and the wear. Roast him for his brake cable right here. Not sure what's going on there. Doesn't have a cable end on this one. So yeah, I'm gonna roast him for all these pizzas and garlic bread and Coca-Cola here. I think this is actually probably too much food for your ride. I don't think you could actually finish all that. So yeah, you probably should probably share those if you if you have any friends. And got a little uh, poo stain here on the seat posts. Might want to clean that up. But yeah, all in all, pretty sick. I think it's a pretty cool bike. Looks like it gets uh, used around. Not sure what this Tyler, the engine built by MIT, is. Is that where you? Is that where you go? If you go to MIT, then I would say I would expect something a little bit better from a M MIT grad. But yeah, overall pretty sick. I definitely ride this bike. I like the matching colors and parts and stuff. But yeah, thanks for sending, Gabriel. Nice bike. All right, next one is Bowen. So Bowen sent a few emails. So let's just check. What's up, Gary? My late '80s Trek. 7,000, don't hold back. So he wants a roast. All right, email, send another email here. All right, so Bjorn actually sent me five emails full of pictures. <laughs> you send too many pictures. Oh wait, let, let's see what he said. Yeah, he just kept sending extra pictures. So my first roast is when you, uh, when you compose an email, just make sure you think about it before you click send. Email isn't like, um, a chat program so <laughs> just might want to think about how you uh, send emails all right Bill and this is a uh, your bike so I'm gonna roast you for sending a non drive side shot let's see we have a drive side out of all these photos he doesn't even have a drive side it has got it it's got to have one right he wouldn't dare not to these are just the same photos over and over again all right first roast non drive side shot uh, I'm gonna roast you for these kind of cork grips cork grips and then this wine soaked brook saddle I think that's probably going way over the top with that vibe. Gonna roast him for this little, uh, roast him for this little piece of rubbish on his uh, on his bike. Also gonna roast him for just only having one brake on the front, and no brake on the rear. Oh wow, this uh, this orange Origin Eight chainring is pretty cool. It's got like two BC, so you can run you can run uh, different size cranks. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Sim works bubbly pedals. Pretty cool pedals. All right, I, pre I appreciate this uh, the stamp. Like, all the different colors look pretty ugly, in my opinion, but at least he chucked a few spaces in here just to kind of clean it up a bit. So I, I appreciate the effort here. But yeah, all in all, not too bad. Not too much to roast on this bike. I think just, yeah, just uh, take a little bit of time when you send emails and you, <laughs> you should be good. Thanks, Bruin. Nice. All right, next one is Peter T. This is a, a Velo Schwaff. Himalaya 1989. This is my submission for you. Use user bike review. Comes with mostly Max and DX hubs, laced to some sweet Mavericks. Some of the highlights definitely include the stem, integrated CAD eye cyclo computer, internally routed wiring back wheel for extra clean look, and some clean chrome forks. Hope I'm not too late to the party. P.S. You are allowed to roast it for your video if you want, but I'm afraid you'll like it as much as I do. Keep up the good work. So I'm allowed to roast it. All right, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool bike. I do like this stem, and yeah, you don't really see these a lot, so it's like a built-in computer. I think that's pretty cool, and to have it internally routed is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's running three by seven. I think this is 700C. Pretty clean build and shifters, old-style grips. Same as that. What did you say? What frame it was? No, didn't say what frame. Overall, pretty cool. Pretty cool bike. Fast. 
if anything, I'm just going to roast you for this ugly seat, but that's it. Maybe your cable is a little bit long here and there, but yeah, overall pretty cool. Looks like it's a fast bike, gets you around, and some nice wheels on it too. Cheers. Thanks for sending Peter. All right, next one is Helen. This is, uh, well not Helen, this is Sven's 26 Monster Cross Wild Ride. All right, he didn't say review or roast, so I just do a normal review. All right, he said review down here, Snorko XT 26er. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Looks like a gravel bike, got the shrucks up front. Also, you got some newer components here. And yeah, it looks pretty fast, looks pretty heavy duty. I like these uh, wheels. If I would put these wheels on a bike, I'd definitely put it on like a drop bar type of bike. I think it they matches it a little bit better. And running disc brakes on the back. Got matching bottles. I guess just be careful you're not gonna scratch scratch your rotors on the ledge here. But yeah, overall. Overall pretty cool bike. Nice, looks fun. Looks like a solid bike. Oh, he's also running twin brake levers here, looks like. I think I can see twin brake levers, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but these look like them. So yeah, brifters and dual brake shift, uh, dual brake levers. Cool, nice one, Sven. Thanks for saying that in. I mean, next one is Julian. What's up, Julian? Here's my giant ATX 780, and he wants a roast. Yeah, here's his bike, tan with green. Uh, I'm gonna roast you for the photos being out of focus. And I think this cable, I'm not sure what's happening with this cable, but it seems like it's in pain a little bit. So I would, what I'd do is I would put this cable under this Velcro, uh, under this Velcro strap, and then it should come out this a little bit better, and then it won't, it won't hurt it so much. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's running one by 12 probably, one by 11 or 12. I'm gonna roast him for missing a valve cap here. Has one here and has one, doesn't have one here. Um, either keep them both off or both on. Back seat post action, more blurry picks here. Got the SMN, uh, SNM riser bars. I like to see the different angle, maybe it'll, hopefully it'll show them. All right, this shot is in focus, it looks like. This low res, yeah. No. I wish I could see these bars on a different angle, but. They look pretty cool overall, and I'm just going to roast you for this uh, crank arm angle being at the wrong angle. But yeah, all in all, pretty cool bike. I like the Maxxis pictures with the light tan wars. I think they look pretty cool. I um, mean, yeah, that's basically it. Nice one. Looks like a cruisy ride. Okay, going to roast you for the bell angle right there. All right, thanks, Julian. Thanks for saying that in. Next one up is Aaron. Aaron? Maybe, maybe Aaron. Roast my bike, please. Kindly, please check my bike on Instagram. Please give us... A shout out, shout out ADVAC Retro Cycling Club, Aaron from Philippines. All right, let's take a look. All right, this is his bike. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. All right, so we can keep going. All right, I think that's the biggest I could get it. All right, here's his bike, Norco, and he wanted a he wanted a roast. All right, first I'm gonna I'm gonna roast him for the crank arm angle and running clips. I think you can just run flat pedals. I don't think these clips are gonna get you that many more watts. And then it looks like you upgraded tires. Tires look good, frame looks good. It's got a little frame pump here. And yeah, just matching bar ends and a little bag here. Uh, I'm just gonna roast him for his backyard. This backyard looks pretty, uh, looks like it needs to clean up a bit. Looks like it's a little trash can here. You can probably use uh, some landscaping, a little bit of mowing maybe, and a little bit of watering. You kind of really let your garden uh, slide Aaron. So I'd fix that up, maybe take this sign down, no one can see that sign anyway. Overall, pretty cool bike. Thanks for staying in, I like the bash guard. Pretty cool, cheers. All right, next one up is Joel, let's take a look. Hey Gary, here's one, here's my one and only bike. It's a 2009 Haro Flightline Comp, which I had since that year. I converted to Ridge Commuter Aaron bike during the pandemic. 26 ain't dead and triples are the best. Installed knockoff Jones bars and friction shifters and now loving it more than my age. Went through a colorful face, hence the colored bolts, colored cables, chairing bolts, pink donut stem cap. It's not vintage or a nice model, but it gets me outside and makes me smile. Choose on your channel, Gary, and bring back the product review vids. <laughs> I usually just do product reviews, reviews when people send them to me. So yeah, maybe I'll try to get more products sent. Mecca, Taco, Ya, Kietson. All right, let's check out his bike. All right, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool bike. He just, I think he just asked for a review, so um, yeah, pretty cool setup. Looks like got some newer bits on here with this new fork, new carbon fork. Running disc brakes on the back and the rear. 
but yeah, it looks like, overall it looks pretty cool. It's like a fun bike. I think with the rig this higher rigid fork and the Jones bar, that'd be quite comfortable. And it's got some accessor accessories here with the, the light up here and a little panner bag. I'm not sure what's what's on here. Looks like a, a little bag maybe. But yeah, it looks pretty solid. I like the color combination. Got the green, got the purple, got the blue, and got a little Mario mushroom here as well. But yeah, overall it looks like a pretty cool bike. Uh, looks pretty fun to ride. All right, thanks for saying that, Joel. Next one, we got Nathan. Hi, got inspired by your videos for this build. Thanks, Nathan. He just wants a review, so no review. But yeah, overall, pretty cool. I like this bike. It has this cool paint job that I've never, ever seen before. And it's quite cool. Kind of has like a ripple, kind of like an earthy feel. Pretty cool. Uh, and here, it's, here it is loaded. Yeah, it looks like a definitely a workhorse. Gets you around, super solid. Like all this stuff you're carrying. And then the bike. I think the bike would definitely hold up. Got a little front rack action, rear rack with panna options, running three by seven it looks like, and friction shifter. It's got little bar ends here up the top as well for a different hand position, which is pretty cool. And nice comfy saddle, old school look bag with the shoulder pad. I think this is a uh, sparkling water, <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah, overall looks cool. Looks like a solid bike, nice job. Has a cool, uh, Cool vibe about it. Thanks Nathan, thanks for sending that in. Next one is Albert, no subject. This is my mongoose villain, Billy Memory of MF Doom. Hopefully you like it, give it a review. Mad villain, got the little graphic MF Doom mask right there. It's got the, what's it called? Braided cables right here. That's pretty cool. Cool little mongoose illustration. Running big cassette on the back, probably 10 and cool pedals. I like the CNC stuff. Usually CNC stuff looks pretty cool. And he's also got this uh, unique uh, chainstay protector with with the scales. It's now chain ring. These tires look all right too. All right, yeah, here it is. Got a little camo bag as well. Looks pretty solid. Running the rear rack. Not not scared of bending his chain ring at all. Must be pretty, must be pretty solid. And yeah, overall looks like a pretty cool bike. Let's send a little video as well. Nice, pretty serene. I like getting out near nature and water. Pretty peaceful. Oh, matching camo seat as well. Awesome. Thanks for sending that in, Albert. Looks cool. All right, next one is Sam. This is Sam. What's up, Sam? What's up, Gary? Here's my Kurahara 3.5 Parkway 26 with a basket full of tacos. Not much else to say. Have a gander. Let me know what you think. All the best. Hot dogs on wheels. Sam. So, yeah, this is Sam, I assume. Hopefully, it's Sam, not some random next to his bike. But, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool bike. I like the full size frame bag and got tacos up front. It's got a nice little basket. This looks like the Muji basket, but it does have like a, a little smaller holes. I think it looks pretty cool. It has a nice cool shape to it and got some fresh tires on Billy Bonkers. Nice tread. Cool graphics on here. Running three by seven probably. It's got the old style shifters. Got a little tape on his seat posts, maybe for accessories and stuff. Or he doesn't want to get his hand dirty when he's putting it up and down. Um, got the old school. Are these uh, Adidas, I think? Three stripes. Looks like soccer shoes. Similar. Running stance socks. Yeah, overall looks pretty cool. Looks pretty fun. This looks like, uh, I'm not sure where it is, but it looks like London maybe or England somewhere with the houses. Could be wrong. Could be California or something. Um, but yeah, overall pretty stick bike. I like it. Looks like a, a nice fun bike to ride around. And yeah, nice job on it. Cheers, Sam. Thanks for sending that in. What are you drinking here? Let me know. All right, next one is Oscar. What's up, Oscar? He just asked for a normal review. He's got some pics. He's got a silver bike. Not sure what brand it is. Running one by, maybe single speed. Got a little rack up front. Here, his cockpit. Got a nice basket. I think this is a, the Cycles Manaville basket that I reviewed. It's a great basket. Works really well. And got Aury grips. Just keeping it simple with one shift on one side. Little stem bag here. Pretty cool silver. Locking his wheel up. I think this is a current. Yeah, I think this is a Stritzlin chain ring 1x7. Got these XC3 pedals. Some type XC3 pedals. Or they could be. I think, yeah, I think they are those. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty cool bike. I do like a chrome bike. Nice and silver, nice and simple. Looks solid and easy to go. But yeah, it looks like a fun ride. It looks nice and solid. Thanks for sending that in, Oscar. Next one is Enzio. This is my Vision 
R40 recumb recumbent. It looks like junk, mostly because all the parts are from a bike shop dumpster. Please roast it. I can't roast it though. Alright, I can't actually roast this bike because there's no images. I'm not sure what these things are. So, Enzio, you're going to have to try again. Thanks. Alright, next one is Mark. Hi Gary, it's really fun to see and hear about folks rigs purpose built as most of them seem to be attaching is a personal contribution to your channel it's been several years in the making as is the first version was stolen the frame 650b Rivendell Rodini a slight alteration to make it more friendly the fork is a replacement with the eyelets that I made in order to mount a panorak the whole setup went on a two-nighted camping trip camping trip organized by a local bike shop cheers mark all right let's see yeah nice bike looks super solid Got all the bags set up. I like this water, um, this water bottle set up. It's got, so it's got a water bottle container here and it's got a hose. So if you ever get thirsty, you can kind of just ride and not, and just drink water out of there. That's pretty cool. Better than one of those uh, backpack things because then your back gets sweaty. And then here has got a big uh, bag on the back. Got some custom wrap job for his chain, his tape protector. Got some Swift Industries panda bags on the front. Nice grip here. Looks like he's running. 2x9 or 2x10 and it's got brifters makes it nice and easy and then the, I think that's the Vela orange front rack as well but yeah overall looks pretty cool uh, it's got also got the Renhurst tires with the really light tan wars which look great and ride probably super supple um, but yeah overall super cool bike thanks for sending Mark looks like a uh, looks fun cheers all right next one is Mikel what's up Mikel 990 Diamondback Apex I just finished love the vids thank you very much uh, cheers all right, yeah, uh, what did he say? He said roast him. Okay, so what should he roast him for? I think should we roast him for this cable going over his bars? I think I'm gonna roast him with that. I, I would personally probably put it under here. Yeah, I personally probably put it in the front, um, but I can see why. Yeah, overall pretty cool. Got some Schwab Smart Sams running old DX derailer here, one by seven. Got a bell. Um, yeah, not too much to roast on this one. Maybe just that cable. All right, I'm going to roast him for his lock job. So he locked up to this uh, kind of sketchy, this sketchy, uh, this sketchy pole. You can see it's already leaning over and it looks like it's not that secure inside, inside the ground. So someone could actually just pull this out, take this little bolt, pull it out and then take his bike. I, what I'd do is also uh, try to lock your front wheel up because since you got quick release, someone can just uh, undo this and take your front wheel and then you'll have a hard time getting home. Um, but yeah, overall I like diamond bags. I think they're pretty sick, pretty solid. However, I think it looks like you're locking up, locking it up out of like a VIP area. So maybe there's a doorman there. So your bike might have less of a chance of getting stolen. Um, but yeah, looks pretty cool. Thanks for sending me in. Thanks, Mikel. All right, next one is David. Gary, your content is legendary. Thanks for putting all this stuff out, especially the Doug the two speed shifting mod. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Here's my 90s Bridgestone MB2 single speed. Set up for fast daily commuting, Brooklyn to Manhattan, feet, crumb works, KT bar. Feel free to roast whatever you like, keep it coming. All right, let's take a look. All right, yeah, pretty cool bike, older style bike, running single speed, and it's got the, got it set up in kind of like comfy, cruisy position. position. Got the front rack on the front, an old style, uh, whatever these bags are called. That's more square shape, I forgot. But yeah, they usually put, a, there's like a clear section on the top and they put a map up the top. Maybe an old uh, old touring bag or something like that. Gonna roast you for this no cap on the valve here. Um, it's got some nice DTH tires on there. I'm not sure what's going on here with the stem. Is this a stem lock or just weird spaces? Maybe it has more picks. Uh, looks like it has a pretty nice single speed cog on the back. It's wheels too, at least campy i think these might be campy hubs here's the front yeah it looks like a solid build some nice pedals some nice lights a dyno dynamo hub on the front to power his light but yeah it looks super solid all cranks to stritzlin fork prestige tubing nice tubing mks pedals uh but yeah overall pretty nice bike i wish i could see what's going on with these spaces i don't know if this is a, a steering lock or not if it's a steering lock i give you props if it's just random spaces that you put in, I'm going to roast you for that. Um, but yeah, thanks for saying it in. Cheers. Thanks, David. Hope New York's treating you well. All right, next one is Tasman. My silly bike roast. 
What's up, Tasman? All right, so he basically sent a picture with mostly sky and barbed wire here and some graffiti. Looks like a construction site, so not sure where this is, this is but I'd probably try to ride out of there. All right, so he got a Shogun, Trailbreaker 1, pretty nice. Seems pretty standard. I don't really see this as a, too much of a silly bike. He's got the standard uh, stand bars, cruiser bars, running two by. Looks like he updated the crank here. Super solid. Yeah, not too much to roast here. Looks pretty solid. I'd probably just ride out of this area or just keep your eye on your stuff when you're riding through. Looks pretty solid. It's got a front rack, got a big water bottle here. And is this a, a lock? Looks like a lock. I think what I would, I just only roast him for having this big bottle on the front here in the rack. I think it would get quite heavy with steering. If you have room here, just put it in a bottle cage and it'll keep your weight a little bit more centered on your bike. But yeah, overall looks like a pretty cruisy ride. Looks fun. Thanks for saying that in Tasman. Nice. All right, next one is Alexander. Uh, this will be the last one because I'm reaching an hour. So yeah, this is Alexander review and roast. Overall, this bike's pretty cool. I like uh I think this st style frame is actually really old uh, because it's got, it seems really slack and it has like a cool paint color like this this muted green I think looks pretty cool and it's got some pants on the front running XT triple and XT on the back remax so he has I think this frame's probably 80s frame and then he has 2000 parts on it and then he's got the bull moose bars with matching grips here to match the frame silver silver cable hanger and continental race king these tires are meant to be really good i've always wanted to try them uh but yeah they're a little bit pricey but yeah it should make your ride pretty fast and light reynolds tubing here i'm not sure what it is he didn't say um but yeah overall pretty cool bike not too much to roast on this one i'd say yeah just your pedal angle at the wrong angle and yeah having uh independent skateboard sticker on your bike but then there's no skateboard i roast you for that uh, but yeah all jokes aside pretty cool bike looks like gets you around and thanks for sending in alexander cool bike all right that's it for this time um if you want to send your bike as always the instructions are in the description hopefully you liked it and yeah let me know what you think let me know what your favorite bike is thanks for watching and i'll catch you next one peace